Ever wondered how you can split a whole into smaller equal parts? Or perhaps you've puzzled over how to share a delicious pizza equally among a group of friends? The answer to these questions and many more lies in the magical world of fractions. So what exactly is a fraction? Imagine a whole apple. Now divide that apple into four equal parts. Each of those parts represents a fraction of the whole apple. In mathematical terms, we'd represent each part as one-fourth, or in symbols, one-fourth. Here's how it works. The number on the top of the fraction, known as the numerator, represents the number of parts we have. The number on the bottom, known as the denominator, represents the total number of equal parts the whole is divided into. So in our apple example, we have one part of a total of four, hence one-fourth or one-fourth. But what if we have more than one part? Say two parts of the apple. Well, that's where things get interesting. We'd represent two parts as two-fourths, or in symbols, two-fourths. Notice how the numerator changes to represent the number of parts we have. That's the beauty of fractions. Now you might be wondering, can fractions represent more than a whole? Absolutely. If we have five parts of an apple, where each apple is divided into four parts, we'd represent it as five-fourths, or in symbols, five-fourths. This is what we call an improper fraction, where the numerator is greater than the denominator. At this point, it's crucial to understand that fractions can also be simplified. For instance, two-fourths can be simplified to one-half. How so? Both the numerator and the denominator are divisible by two, resulting in one-half. This is the simplest form of the fraction, meaning it can't be divided evenly any further. Before we wrap up, let's look at equivalent fractions. These are fractions that although look different, they represent the same value. For example, two-fourths is equivalent to one-half. They look different but are essentially the same when simplified. In summary, fractions are a way of representing parts of a whole. They consist of a numerator, which shows the number of parts we have, and a denominator, indicating the total number of equal parts the whole is divided into. Fractions can be more than a whole, called improper fractions, and can also be simplified to their lowest form. And remember, equivalent fractions may look different but represent the same value. So the next time you're splitting a pizza or dividing a whole into parts, remember, you're venturing into the fascinating world of fractions.